the reasons why a lot of people were lured into being a hospitalist were multifold. Number one, hospitalist works became somewhat attractive in the sense that it was shift work. And so you could work seven days and be on for seven days, be off for seven days, or you could just work at nights and be off during the day. That certainly appealed to a lot of people. The other th uh, reason why hospitalist jobs became attractive is you didn't have to run an outpatient facility and hire nurses and uh, medical assistants and pay rent and literally go into business. So for a lot of young aspiring doctors who are finishing, let's say, internal medicine residencies, that became attractive. The other reason it became attractive is, you know, hospitals work is very similar to what they do in residency because most residency training programs, for the most part, are inside the hospital. And most primary care doctors who do outpatient medicine, the bulk of their training occurred in a hospital. And so it was just a comfort to go, a comfortable situation to go from an internal medicine residency right into being a hospitalist because basically that's what you were doing during your training. Also, I think there was some, you know, uh, as the compensation and remuneration from uh, insurance companies and Medicare for a lot of outpatient services became less or more complicated and there was more paperwork. Again, the, the idea of showing up to a hospital working 12 hours or eight hours and leaving appeal, uh, appeal to a lot of other people.